What's going on everybody and welcome to the channel. Today we are checking out the ZLRC's SG-108. It is a foldable 5G Wi-Fi FPV, 25 minute flight time, 90 degree remote tilt adjustable 4K camera, GPS RC quadcopter ready to fly. All right, so taking a closer look at the quadcopter looking pretty nice, foldable props, as you can see, the props are not connected and they don't have a hub in the middle. They're just leaflets screwed on to the motor themselves. So pretty nice looking and it does flop all the way and very loose. All right. So looking at the front here, we got LED lights right up in the front and notice the camera. It has a slight up tilt, which is pretty cool because when you pitch forward and fly fast it'll still take horizon video so that is a really nice feature and also when we open up the arms those are the front arms we do have a couple of led lights in the rear next to the battery bay and just like that you are able to now fold out the rear arms and it is looking pretty nice all black on this one uh, it does come with an orange option that one is looking pretty nice too now we got some landing legs on the front arms and the rear arms do not have any landing legs but we do have some protrusions on the rear of the quad up there there's rubber tip as well as the landing gear in the front they're rubber tipped as well so you will stick that landing really nice brushless motors let's see here on the bottom we do have an optical flow sensor so you are able to change from the camera view to the optical flow sensor view in the wi-fi phone app and the wi-fi phone app is called the h fun pro app you can download it for free go ahead and check it out so looking pretty nice it is a really nice made quadcopter and the plastic that they use is really high quality so it's a really nice quadcopter and hopefully it takes some nice videos and photos now it does say however the camera is a 4k camera but i did take some sample video and sample photos at home and the resolution isn't 4k it is actually 1080p for the video and the photo is 4096 by 3072 so it is not 4k video guys and this thing does not have a built-in dvr so the videos are saved to the phone app and thus to the camera roll now it is saved with a resolution of 1920 by 1080p like i said and i'm not sure why zlrc does not include a built-in dvr it could possibly save videos with higher resolution if the cameras is indeed a 4k cameras so there's the quad cutter for you so let's go ahead and check out what else we get in the bag so here's a bag of goodies this one contains the usb charge cable to charge up the battery and we have a screwdriver looks like and here's another bag of goodies this one contains a full set of these floppy props and we do get two batteries now the batteries are 7.4 volt 2200 milliamp size battery supposedly good for about 25 minutes of flight time and we do have a micro usb port to charge up the batteries now while you're charging up a battery level indicator leds will light up according to their charge there's a push button power on and off switch here you can short press it to check the battery level and it is fully charged and a short press and a long press will power up the battery as you can see here just like that and that is how you will power up the quadcopter and that is exactly how you will turn off the power to the quadcopter as well so a short press and then a long press will power off the battery and thus the quadcopter so we get the instruction manual and this one is in english so they do provide you with a whole bunch of different language instruction manual as well so here let's take a look at the remote control now the remote control has flap out antennas but only the right antenna is the real deal here the left one is just for looks so we got the speed changing button right up here and we have the 
compass calibration button. So you long press this compass calibration button will uh, put your quadcopter into the compass calibration mode. We got the camera tilt angle button. This one tilts the camera down. This one tilts the camera up. We have a photo video button, short press to take a photo, long press to take a video, return to home, some LED light indicators. We have the one key to take off and one key to land and we have the GPS on and off switch. Now, folding out the arms, this is kind of familiar. We had this type of remote controls before and the phone clip is underneath of the fold out uh, hand grip. And to power on the remote control, fold out this arm all the way and it will power on the remote control. Now, both sticks to the bottom and in will calibrate the gyros and both sticks to the bottom and out will arm and disarm the motors of the quadcopter. I do believe it does disarm. So we'll check it out when we do the demo flight. All right, guys, so here we go with the SG-108. Got the battery installed in here. So let's go ahead and power this thing up. A short and a long press. And the ESCs have sung their song. We got blue LED lights in the front and we got green LED lights in the rear and the battery level indicator is in blue. So let's go ahead and turn on our transmitter. Just like that, it has bound. So now we need to do the compass calibration. So we're going to hit this compass calibration button, long press it. The lights have changed their sequence. So the remote control should make a beep, so we're going to Rotate it horizontally. There you go. A beep is heard. And at this time, what you want to do is the vertical calibration. So nose up and rotate it again. And you're going to hear another beep on the remote. There you go. Compass calibration complete. Now we need to do gyro calibration. Oh, look at that. It has acquired all of the necessary GPS. So all of the lights are solid now. So that is awesome, just like that. So let's calibrate our gyro, both sticks to the bottom and in. And let me step it, step in so you guys can see. There you go. Fast flashing light and now it has returned solid. So we are good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and stick my phone on here. Just like that. And I forgot to mention that this remote control has a built-in battery, so you charge it up via the USB uh, port right here, the micro USB port. So that is nice. You don't have to have any batteries. All right, so let's get going. Let's go ahead and turn on the device. Go into the settings. Connect to the Wi-Fi network of the M8 5G 4K Wi-Fi network, it says. All right, we are connected. And here is the phone app. It is called the HFun Pro phone app. Free downloadable app in the App Store. So go ahead and check it out. Looks like that. There we go. Interface and it says, please calibrate your drone first. It always says that. So let me go ahead and screen record here. Before I get started with anything. There we go. Screen is recording and let me go ahead and hit start. Takes us into the interface and it says to stay away three meters from the drone. And there we go. We got Wi-Fi FPV just like that. Oh, there's a latency here. Oh yeah, there's a big latency. Look at that. But hopefully it gets better as it stays connected for a while it usually does get better so there we go let's see the camera tilt angle here let's go up okay that's the highest that it will go here wow that's pretty high uh slightly above horizon maybe about 10 degrees let's go down oh i think it's gonna hit the table yeah, <laughs> I'm going to raise it back up. It's kind of slow to react. You got to take it easy with the 
button I'm gonna go like zero degrees so let's go and check this thing out uh, let's see bolt sticks to the bottom and out is to arm the motors just like that and let me see if that disarms the motors no it does not it does not disarm the motors let me do throttle stick all the way down no that doesn't disarm the motor so we're gonna have to wait until it disarms the motors by itself there you go you have that much time to take off once you arm the motors and there's no sequence to stop the motors except in the phone app so it does not have an emergency stop okay so take a note of that so one key to take off and one key to land let's see if we just press this and it takes off or not no it does not do it either so you're gonna have to arm the motors and then hit the one key to take off so let's do that arming the motors one key to take off now one thing I notice also is the GPS button whenever I press the GPS button I don't have any indicators that the GPS is on or off and it seems like it's on GPS all the time so it really doesn't matter maybe you need to land it turn it off and then press it and then take off again or something like that for the GPS to be turned off so let's go ahead and check out the GPS position hold get it angry here and there you go it springs back to its original GPS hold position so that is GPS for you okay let's see what speed we are in okay we started off in speed number one okay I'm babying the sticks right now so this is the full pitch and I'm just yawing very slowly let's see the full yaw and that is the full yaw okay speed number two yeah a lot more pitch the yaw speed is about the same though and I see the video They're looking pretty nice coming towards me yeah well so far it is behaving pretty decent there we go all right looks like we got a nice little flyer here oh a little bit of oscillation there prop wash okay now let's go ahead and take some photos let's see if it takes a photo with the hard remote no I don't see anything happening one more nope nothing's happening so take a photo with the phone app and there you go there's a flash oh and now it saved the photo okay so it takes a little while let me go up in altitude here a little bit and y'all and then take a photo there you go huh it takes a little while and look at that kind of a delay so have to wait a little while before the video catches on I'm gonna yaw right now okay it caught on this time there you go one more photo and but now it saved the previous photo <laughs> okay so there you go it takes a while for the photos to be saved and let's see it takes one more here okay there we go taking some photos there I'm gonna see if the video works with the hard remote long pressing it it does beep but nothing is happening so I'm gonna use the video icon here and there we go now we are taking a video 
breeze is kicking in a little bit. Yeah. Speed number two, if you baby the sticks, you can cruise around nice and smoothly too. Look at that. That's a nice flyer. Pretty decent. Very smooth. And I think even a beginner can handle this quad because of the GPS position hold. You just let go and look at that. Comes to a hover. And look at how steady she is. Very nice. Awesome, awesome. Let's tilt the camera while it's up in the air going up so it's going up beyond zero degrees now so if you pitch forward you will still kind of get a horizon view on your video so that's pretty cool that's pretty cool to have look at that you got lots of sky even though you're forward pitching so that is a nice feature of this camera Yeah, pretty nice. Okay. Steady. And let's lower down. It does take a while before it goes back down. So let's turn around. And there I am. Alright. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Let's go and check out the core functions like the return home and stuff so let's go ahead and bring it down and establish our new home point here we took off from the table so I want to establish the landing pad as the the new home point so hitting the one key to land and you can redirect its path while it's coming down there we go let's see if the motors turn off okay so the motors turn off right away and yeah, maybe about a couple seconds so place the 
quadcopter in the middle of the landing pad so that is our new home point so let's go ahead and arm the motors and I'm just gonna manually take off there we go I let go of the stick but it rolls up slightly even more okay letting go of all of the sticks and it is holding its position so here's the return to home button so let's go ahead and press that and see what happens oh yeah immediate immediately responds and it rises up in altitude and continuous double beeps on the remote oh, it's going pretty high oh and it turns around and it is heading back okay the landing pad is right here straight up it is still inching towards the correct position and it's going to hover there for a little bit turns around and starts to come down let's see if it hovers at a certain altitude before it finalizes the landing process okay it slows down a little bit but it doesn't stay there it slowly comes down and looks like it's going to miss the middle of the landing pad by a little bit maybe a couple of quadcopter distances away one two yeah that's around there not bad that's pretty good all right so let's go ahead and uh, check it out one more time here rearming and I noticed something here on the phone app okay let me enlarge it where it says GPS I have zero GPS and zero voltage so for some reason that is not working but I know I have GPS huh, that is kind of strange so that part of uh, the app is not working for me for some reason all right so let's go ahead and restart and let me one key to take off and see exactly how high it gets from the ground so that is it that's the default distance up you will get it slowly rising <laughs> okay that is it right there and looks like it's drifting a little bit I took off from there and now it's over here okay do I have a GPS hold position let me check here oh yeah it's got GPS hold position but it's drifting off a little bit look at that I took off from here okay <laughs> nevertheless I see some oscillations a little bit okay let's see what happens uh, if we turn off the remote control uh, simulating a fail safe uh, so let's go ahead and turn it off here what I gotta take my phone off the holder because the on and off switch is on the uh, fold out arm so taking off my phone I'm gonna leave my phone right here in the shade for now so I'm gonna turn it off by folding in the arm here and now the remote control is off looks like some kind of a pistol doesn't it pew, 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 pew. okay nothing is happening okay there we go it's rising up and it'll probably go to the same height and let's see if it turns around with the fail safe no it doesn't turn around it just heads back backwards inches its way back a little bit out of time and there's the landing pad here I wonder if it's going to land in the landing pad I'm going to get my transmitter ready and turn it on if it doesn't because I don't want it landing in the grass and bushes and stuff so let's see here looks like it's gonna make it right next to it it's not gonna hit the uh, bushes it's going to land right there let's see and the motors turn off let's see if I can rearm it place it back in the middle and we should have bound so let me go ahead and arm the motors there we go we are rebound now let's go ahead and take off one more time and this time what I'm gonna do is 
I'm going to turn the remote control on while it's heading back to simulate reconnection once you go out of distance and it fail safes and it starts to come back and it reconnects with the remote control and see if I can retake control of it. So turning off the remote once again. Pew, 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 pew. Let's see what happens. Once again, takes a little while. There's somebody over there feeding the birds or uh, walking their dog with the car. All the birds are checking them out. Okay, there you go. Rising up in altitude. And today the breeze is at a minimum, so it's really nice. It's coming back. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it back on. And as soon as I turn it back on, look at that. It just hovers in place. So reconnection and I am able to take re-control of it right away without doing anything. So that is great. Some GPS quads, you still have to hit the return to home button to stop the return to home process. This one, it just stops dead on its tracks. So that is a pretty decent thing here. Okay, so let's go ahead and leave it right here and then see if we can do some uh, FPV. So I'm gonna get my phone, look at my phone. I'm gonna stand it up with something here. I don't wanna reconnect it or put it back on my holder because I might turn off the phone while I'm doing that. Okay, so here we go. Do some FPV here. Yaw to the left and go away from myself. Ah, it's very nice. Nice and pleasant. Turn around. Oh, that was a little stutter. Okay, there I am on the right. Let me veer to the right a little bit. There we go. Oh, turn too much. So I am unable to finally control it. Okay, what's going on? Something sounded off. I'm still recording. Okay, so slowly turning around and got myself, see, I overshot it a little bit. Okay, so I'm trying to correct it and there you go, coming towards myself. So you can do some FPV here, point and shoot. What you desire to take video on. There you go. And there it goes. Pretty cool. Nice. So it's supposed to have uh, 25 minutes of flight time. So that is awesome. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stop recording to save this episode of our flight. And I'm going to stop my screen recording as well. So I have that. Because sometimes I lose screen recording. Sometimes it stops recording for no reason. So I'm going to restart my screen recording. There we go. Restart it. And I'm going to restart my video recording as well. All right, so I'm gonna carefully place the phone back into the phone clip here. Let's see if I can do that without turning my phone off or increasing the volume or anything. So just like that, and it is back on. You gotta put it slightly towards the right so you know the power uh, switch doesn't get pressed while you're putting it in here. Okay, so there's some special functions over here. So let's go ahead and Bring it down, bring it closer, bring it down a little bit, and right in front of myself here. It says two meters, so that is the reason why I'm bringing it down a little bit, a little lower. Okay, so I'm right here. Hello, folks. Um, very hard to see my screen here, so I'm putting it in my shade of my head. <laughs> okay, special functions. Here we go with the follow me function and it's telling you two meters and stuff like that. 
Okay, so let's confirm. And let's see, it is off to the side here. Yeah, it kind of drifts off a little bit. Okay, are you going to follow me? Do I have to... And the video sort of froze, and look at that. The app just crashed. Can you believe that? Good thing I saved my video and my uh, screen record. Oh my goodness, perfect timing. Okay, let me reconnect here. Go to the settings. Yeah, I'm still connected to the Wi-Fi network. It's just that the app crashed. Hmm, that is not good. Going back into the app. And it's telling me to calibrate again. It's always doing that. Okay. And I got video back. See, it stopped recording. And let me see my screen recording. My screen recording stopped as well. So let's restart it and press the record button once again and there we go but notice on the left top corner of the screen here I still have zero satellites and my voltage is still zero so it is not working for me hope that that doesn't have anything to do with it so I'm standing right in front of the quad two meters away and Special function, follow me, confirm. Okay, do I need to tap on myself? Okay, let's see if it follows. Nah, doesn't look like it's going to follow me here. Nope, come on buddy. Okay, I'm inside of the green. I'm inside of the green and I'm going to tap on myself. No, the virtual sticks came on. <laughs> okay, there, there I am. There's a red square. Okay, so I'm moving. Hello? No. <laughs> it does not want to work. Maybe my phone is not registering the GPS. Maybe that has something to do with it. I'm not sure, guys. So, well, let me get out of the follow me mode here okay I am out of the follow me but it still got that red square on me what is going on okay so let me just go and cruise around here all right still got that red rec rectangle on myself and it's not moving around and I have the special functions off. Okay, here we go. One more time. It's not GPS mode. You cannot open. Okay, so the other function is what? Circle me, point of interest. And that is not even wanting to open up. Okay. All right. So basically, my special functions do not work. Oh, there's some kind of a beeping going on. I believe we have hit low voltage so let's go and check it out so that's something to check out here okay so let's see if there's like a geofencing and let me see what the battery level is saying because I don't have any idea from the phone app so we got one blue LED light remaining and the lights are blinking so let's go ahead and push it out oh we hit some kind of a geofence. Let me do that again. One more time. Boom. Oh yeah, it, there is a geofencing. Looks like about maybe 15, 15 meters, 20 meters. So let's see. Let's go this way and see where the geofencing is. Should be right around there. Boom. Yeah, right about 20 meters. Okay, let's check it out this way. Boom, geofence. Okay, so we are in low voltage and the first phase and it is not returning home. So if we were away 
20 meters, when it hit the first phase of return to home or low voltage, what will happen is it'll come back home. Like let's say we were about 100 meters away and it hit the first phase of low voltage, it will return to home and it will hover within that 20 meters of uh, radius. So you can still fly around and deplete the battery all the way down to when it hits the uh, second phase of low voltage and at which time it will land and that's what we're going to wait for here so we're just going to cruise around so there's another little thing that I noticed that was here and it's constantly beeping and there is a camera icon uh, we are recording so I can't show you but let me stop recording then I still got that red rectangle let me hit that and it brings up a lot of other stuff here um, I can shoot forward camera I can hit the bottom camera so it is looking straight down that's the optical flow camera there you go I should be right underneath of it something like that there you go okay and I can also hit this and that will kind of show a picture in picture of the forward camera and I don't know what that camera is which camera is that it's my phone camera you see that and you can go split screen and I can do the forward facing camera or the rear facing camera that is pretty cool and back to forward facing camera only okay and look at that <laughs> it's still in first phase of low voltage let me put my shades back on okay so we're just waiting until it hits second phase of low voltage and at which time it just hit it is rising up by itself so so far, this has been a very good experience with this quad. It goes all the way up. Uh, it looks like about 20 meters up. And turns around. And it should come down to the landing pad. Takes a while. <laughs> it's going to turn around again. Or is it going to come down at all? It doesn't look like it's going to come down. Oh yeah, it is. Man, that took a long time. There you go, now it's coming down. Now I wonder why they program it so that it takes that long. It's going to hit the bushes, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and see if I can maneuver it. Yeah, there you go. So I'm going to land it manually on the landing pad and the motors have stopped. So there you go guys, my review and demo flight of the ZLRC's SG108. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching. Have a great day and we'll see you again next time.